Ah, oh, what a nice sunny weather today. Great for the instruments, but not every day is so nice. If there comes heavy raining and humidity is raising, it has a dramatic impact on the sound of your instrument. Stay tuned and I tell you all the details. Hello, hello back again. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy, and I'm building instruments every day from the morning until late at night. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Now let's say you're in the run here and you're going to a rehearsal or something and you open up and outside everything is wet, it's evaporating, humidity is raising like skyrocketing and then you have to perform a competition or you have to show how good your strat is sounding and of course humidity is soaking in like paper which gets all with these waves and yeah, it's going wrong. And a little bit instruments made out of wood have a little bit the same impact. Of course, outside they're all varnished. Inside, some makers put some super secret preparations, but actually it's not varnished inside. So the wood is still exposed to humidity changes. And humidity is actually all about. To have things a little bit under control, first step is of course to have inside your case a hydrometer, which uh, measures the humidity inside your case and let's say you live in Macau this is uh, one of the places uh, in summertime is pretty humid you don't want to have your humidity inside your case and then you have it super humid and then you close it and it's getting moisture no you just have to things a little bit under control just imagine where a human being feels comfortable your instrument will feel great if it's too dry certainly an instrument will sound wow just like after a international flight where the air condition in the aircraft is taking away the humidity and when your lips are cracking already because it's so dry then of course your instrument is dry as well and the first tones will be exciting and so musicians always tell me that flying is this good for the instrument it's of course also the vibrations but humidity makes a big impact and that's also the reason why instruments face cracks after a flight or after transport an aircraft because humidity is very few and it cracks without humidity the wood becomes brittle and is very sensible for cracks and it sounds of course very exciting on the other side too much humidity let's think about the mara which ended up into the water uh, this is another story i made the video about it you don't want to expose it to too much and to too little of course too little makes it very exciting but it's very dangerous and very delicate and sensible for cracks and all these things are loosening up the top is not glued anymore well on the ribs only if it happens when it's very dry humidity for the glue is again something which makes the glue stronger because only with humidity the glue can do its job very well while if there is no humidity it becomes brittle and then it opens up very quick so when violin makers when you see them they use like uh, alcohol to loosen up some gluing parts they do nothing else than putting the alcohol on the gluing areas in order that the alcohol which evaporates takes also the humidity away and it becomes very dry and then they can open it up very quick but you don't try with this kind of things because you you would probably damage the instrument in the varnish. Just for referrals so you can associate dry is not good because it becomes too, too brittle. On the other side, humid is good for the wood on one side because it won't crack, but on the other side it becomes mellow like a marshmallow and it won't sound that good. So in between, we talk about between 50 or 40 to 80. 80 is already starting humid, but the wood is feeling comfortable. But everything more than 80, wow, this is already getting tough. And less than this 40 uh, is getting dry here. But in between, this is pretty good range. Violet makers in Korea, they face nothing else than this humidity changing between winter and summer. In winter, it becomes very dry. In summer, it's extremely humid. And what happens the most, and which is the most disturbing besides these previously named uh, problems of cracking and the moisture and stuff like this, is that the neck, the angle of the neck is 
is moving. If I take here a cello from the side, the neck is set into the ribs, right? And this area here, the foot of the neck is exposed. Nevertheless, it is varnished. It is exposed to this humidity changing. So when the humidity gets in and it's very humid, this area here is swelling and is opening up and is causing that the neck goes down, okay? So in Korea, for instance, where humidity is high in summer and low in winter, they have even two bridges, okay? And they have a winter and a summer bridge, yeah? So watch out and try to keep things under control. I even saw, I think, a case maker who has even a cover for the case is a good idea that to protect even the case of raining because you know the, the case is bigger than your umbrella right as a conclusion if it's too humid don't leave the instrument inside and closed in the case because it creates moisture try to take out the instrument into your room where the air is a little bit more circulating circulate circulating circulating if it is too dry put some water on a tissue and store it not di directly next to the instrument but inside the case this makes already huge difference and you will see that this is going to dry out very quick because the instrument is getting this humidity right away these are the two tricks and try to understand when is doing it what how humidity is when it's raining how it is in summer, how it is in winter. Last thing, I know it's extremely disturbing that things are moving and the neck goes up and down and all these things, but every idea to block things in order that it doesn't move will cause a worse damage on your instrument. So sometimes it's better that the top or the back is loosening up from the ribs and you go to the violin maker and get it glued on again instead that it does not opening up and then it gets a crack in the top or in the back and the same thing with the neck if the neck wouldn't move in case there are some climate changes of humidity it would have an impact on the joint on the wood this is everything else what you want you prefer that it is moving it's made out of wood and if you don't like that an instrument is made out of wood then get a carbon fiber violin or cello and be happy for the rest of your life hmm? i make instruments only out of wood so i hope you got some new inspiration some new things why you say ah that's why it is like this or like that with my climate and with my instrument if you have some question how high should be the neck or things like this leave your comment below and i will try to give you an answer as soon as possible stay tuned tell your friends and subscribe ciao 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 ciao